one of the most epic ancient ruin hikes in America, exists in the extremely remote Sierra Ancha mountain range of Arizona. The Devil's Chasm lives up to its name, and the sight of the ruins must be earned. This ended up being one of the most incredible ancient ruins hikes I've ever completed. We really enjoyed the challenge, it was not easy, and if you decide to go, I hope this video can give you an idea of what to expect. What's up everybody? We're about to go on a hike through the Sierra Ancho wilderness um, to go find some cliff dwellings out there, the Devil's Chasm. We're parking here because the road in was a little rough, but it's about to get rougher. So I believe overall we'll end up hiking somewhere between seven and nine miles. So it is hot today. But we are prepared, we got plenty of water, plenty of food, some sunscreen, long sleeves, all that stuff. Let's go explore the Sierra Ancha cliff dwellings. Tonto National Forest, Sierra Ancha Cliff Dwellings. Prehistoric cliff dwellings are located in several of the rugged canyons within and near the Sierra Ancha Wilderness. They were built between 1280 and 1350 AD by Indians known presently as the Salado. Why they chose to utilize this challenging environment, environmental zone is not yet fully understood. Cliff dwellings are fragile and irreplaceable. Please do not climb on the walls or roof or cause any other form of injury or disturbance. It's water. All right, we found some water. We've read that this Sierra Ancha wilderness area has an abnormal amount of rattlesnakes. So we don't got our boots or our jeans. So we're just gonna have to be careful. come out here don't mess anything up $20,000 fine or imprisonment really yep. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah, not particularly cold, no. Watch out for snakes. Oh! 
Yeah. Yeah, shoot. Do you think that's what that is? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. I bet you there's a lot of poison ivy and poison oak out here. Huh? Yeah, I'll get some cream for the rest of Mexico. There you go. Nice little waterfalls right here. Yeah, I think so. You kind of mentioned staying in the valley when you can. Wow. Beautiful waterfalls. Are we about to cross? Okay. Man, you could take a nice little pool uh, plunge right there. It's deep. Um, I think so, man. I don't think I'm there. Uh, yeah, maybe. Could we have gone higher up there? Are we lost right now? <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm glad we checked this out, though. That was cool. I might go swimming in that on the way back. I kind of want to. I kind of want to jump in on that. Uh, not jump in, but kind of want to get in the water when we get back. Nice, you found it, bro. This is why I bring him. You always find the trail, bro. Well, we get a lot of time. There's wasps well, right around these trees. Okay, nest. Oh, I didn't see a nest. Before. Let's get out of here. Wow, dude, that's a good waterfall right there. This is a swimming hole right here. I mean, I'd be a little worried about snakes under these, some of these boulders, but I think that, that's just coming down right there. A little slip and slide. I'm not afraid of that man. What's that? Right. See here. Should we just push through? Go like this? Yeah, sure we will find. The good news is it's not whatever wherever the trail is, it's not far. It's somewhere in between this valley. Let's watch out for snakes. That's it, so we got we just go down too deep somehow. You good? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks bro. Alright. 
think it's probably the easy way through that. cave on the other side of the stream. I guarantee there would be or would have been artifacts. Across the way. Talking about where that boulder big. Yeah, kind of natural shelter. Man, this is spectacular. It feels like we're going back up uh, Black Canyon. I know, right? Kind of looks like it moves. A little hotter. We're about 1.5 miles in. We've got another mile and a half, maybe another mile. Really, we're a lot further in than that. I'm just talking from the trailhead. All right. We're hoping that this stuff we're brushing up against is not poison oak or poison ivy. If it is, our legs are as good as screwed. That's okay. We'll go to the pharmacy. This hike is incredible. Both of our heart rates are basically maxed out. We've got these waterfalls, endless waterfalls by us. And the stream. Heading toward the Devil's Chasm. Hey, as long as we're going that way, we're making progress. Watch out for snakes. How much elevation gain are we getting? 2,700? Yeah, probably 3,000 feet of elevation gain out here in the Arizona desert. This is a great practice. This July, I'm climbing some 14ers. So, I'm oh, sorry. Are you no, you're good. Go ahead. I was just saying, a lot of people say if you don't climb 13,000 feet for the first 14er, it doesn't. Count. What do you mean? Oh, like, like you, you have to, start, to have the. Stop, start below 11,000 feet to say you got yourself the 14er. So, you need, I think you said 13,000, but you're saying 3,000. As long as you. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. So a 14er doesn't count unless you climb at least 3,000 3, feet. That's what some people say. We got a side stream over here. What do you think? I bet it's this way. Cool. Take a little break. My heart rate's, I don't know if it's maxed out, but it's close. I guess maxed out would be a heart attack, right? Yeah. <laughs> When you put it that way, yep. basically bushwhacking it out here. The trail's not exactly solid. Don't think a lot of people are coming out here. If you do decide to come out here, make sure you're prepared. This is kind of gnarly. Water. Something to cover your skin with. Plenty of food. Make sure, most importantly, you're in shape and that you can handle this. You're mobile enough to do this.
What's up? Hey, why did the water stop? Is it underneath the ground? Or was there a canyon split? Like that just happened. I didn't even see it, but it didn't, I know it just happened. Wow, I bet you that is one heck of a waterfall right there when it floods. There's any petroglyphs on this wall. I'm just ringing the mic. She's on it. How far have we gone since the trailhead, Drew? Uh, since the trailhead, we are almost a mile and a half in. So we got another mile? Another mile. How far along are we since we started? Four miles. Four miles in. So. We're gonna end up going 10 miles today. Yep. Nice. All right. What's up? So there's ropes. Or there have been ropes in the past. I'm not sure. Ooh man, we are exposed from the sun uh, to the sun now. Be my last option to use the rope. Yeah, I don't want to trust you that rope. Where's that rope you're talking about? Right here, where that big boulder is, right? Gotcha. Careful. Need a spot? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Atta boy. Big ass legs would do it easy. <laughs> Atta boy. Wish my feet had her. She's had more grip. No ropes needed. Oh boy. So what did you do? You just kind of... I climbed up that crack until I got to that little bowl. I got one foot there in the... Where? It was slippery. Right. A little bit forward, your foot will be a little bit more secure. It's not so right there. steep. But yeah, you made it. Okay. Now I'm going to have to get out of your way. Right. Actually, I can go. Yeah, these ropes, what do you think? Are they... Uh, the blue one was secure as of July 2nd, 2022. That's what you, yeah. But I didn't use it. No, that's a tight squeeze right there. It is. So definitely be careful. Wow. All right, Drew, you got it. Almost wonder if you could even shoot through over here. Possibly could. Careful. I have no idea. So for anybody watching this, we're thinking maybe you need to shoot through right here actually. <laughs> maybe don't go this route. That was pretty gnarly. My brother's a pretty good climber. Um, but yeah, let's try shooting through here. So I did go through that hole. Uh, it was a little tight. I'd be careful, regardless of which way you go. It's a little, a little. 
This is basically a bushwhack that we're doing. It's not really a trail anymore. Wow. A lot of wasps. Let's not get stung by those. That would suck. This be a gnarly place to get caught in a flash flood. Let's hope that doesn't happen. More rope. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you can climb that right side. No problem. Just be careful. You got it. My brother has climbed 30 plus 14ers, is that right? Yep. In Colorado. Has a good eye for these things. Better than me. I'm about to bag my first 14er this month. Look, we got some tadpoles in this little pool right here. Oh heck yeah. A lot of them. Yeah, this would have been like my heaven as a kid. Loved finding tadpoles. All right. I don't know if I go right or left. I mean, the rope's left, so I feel like maybe that is it. Yeah, but... It's just steep over there. I feel like the only reason the rope's left is because they had something to tie it to. You know what I mean? There's nothing to tie it to over here. It just seems like the ledges are a little bit wider over here. By the way, this is not advice for anybody watching this. Like, if you feel like the rope's the best way, I just don't like trusting ropes. You got it. Yeah, it seems like the best route if you're a good climber and you don't you don't need the rope. <laughs> Out of boy. You always just went straight up the middle. Yeah. I climbed that crack over there as long as I could. Guess you just went up the crack right here. Probably the best. So you got this rope tied to this tree here. But to me, I don't know if they just tied it there because it was the only place to tie. It's not really any place to tie over here. I don't like trusting ropes. My brother doesn't like trusting ropes. And it seemed logical just to come up this way. Um, not advice, it's just what we did. I like this part. We're a little more exposed to the sun. It is hot, yeah. but uh, this reminds me of some of the little slot valleys. I guess this reminds me of some of the little slot canyons near Comb Ridge in Utah. Not quite as steep as this. We can't see it right now. We, we can't see it yet. We gotta go around this middle or... I don't know, I'll follow you. That sun is beating. Yeah. How good do your filter, how, 
how good do you think your filter would work in this uh, pool right here? Bet you it would taste nasty. Shout for snakes. We are getting closer. This is a very difficult hike. I think it's gonna be well worth it. Nature water. We are up here. Oh. Oh. What do you think about the climb so far? It's been steep. It's been a lot of wasps. It's been pretty fun. The wasps suck, but uh, we haven't seen any snakes yet. Knock on wood. We'll do that in a little bit. Right there. Right behind you. We took a little break. It was hot. Luckily, these clouds have just came over us. Luckily or unluckily, we'll see if it rains or not. But... It was getting pretty hot there. All right, back at it, almost there. My shoes are untied. <laughs> One second, bro. All right. Steep. Uh. This is a wicked trail.
point them out. Oh, wow. There they are. We made it. We have service? I got one by RT and Snapchat just came to me. You made it, man. Damn near. Wow. Excuse my breathing, everybody. This is a wild hike. This is the most epic ancient ruins hike I've ever done. Here we are. The Devil's Chasm. Careful. What's up? We made it. My brother's a trailblazer. I really appreciate his leadership on this hike today. Wow, look at that view. Arizona, baby. Drew, are you okay? Cut yourself? You bleeding? Be very careful if you're hiking through here, guys. This is some gnarly stuff. You all right, bud? Gotcha. What's up? Almost like a warning. Wow, I've always wanted to come here. We made it. It's big, man. How did they do this? See the holes where the logs used to be. Oh. I think all these little holes, you can actually see the wood still in there. Uh huh. This is ancient wood. This wood would have been put here almost a thousand years ago. Um, and so this would have been a multi-story building. A lot of wasps in this canyon. It just doesn't, I can't wrap my mind around why they built this here. I mean, it's a great view, but we went through a lot to, uh, to get up here. And I'm, I'm sure that they were a lot better climbers, obviously, but I am just trying to think about the economics of what allowed them to even 
get resources for them to even be up here. And supposedly, you keep going 18 miles, not supposedly, for a fact, you keep going that way 18 miles and you run into some more ruins. I want to say he said it was a 17, 18 mile loop. Loop, so maybe you run into it He a said a different, different canyon, you probably run into it a little quicker, but to get back to your car. That's crazy, still. I would love to do that loop, but I think this is our turnaround spot. This is an incredible hike, but be prepared when you come. This is the most epic hike I've ever done to a ruin, but uh, you gotta bring food, water, and make sure you have some type of protection from the sun, because it got gnarly. Oh. Definitely would've had a roof wow. right around there. Too common. I wonder if this is a recent if, update. If somebody like to keep it how it was. Yeah, I don't know. Just got some people write their names in the wood. Bill McFadden. Keep going. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, nice. It's gonna spit us out on the other side. The very small openings. This is a T-shaped door right here. Oh, yeah, the fire's right here, obviously. This is still their ash, I guess. Really? Yeah, and it's black up against... Uh... Wow. That's awesome. This right here is a T-shaped door. Or window. T-shaped window in this case. Uh, Dr. Steve Lexen is an archaeologist. Believes this was a common sign all throughout um, the the north, where um, Casas Grandes is and Paquimé, Mexico, and uh, Chihuahua, um, all up into Mesa Verde, Chaco Canyon, and even here. And then I even saw one down at Piedras Negras in Guatemala in the Mayan sites. These T-shaped windows right here represented some type of authority. Status symbol, possibly. That's just the best guess. No one really knows. But it is very common. The uh, museum in Mexico City, the Anthropology Museum, actually has a display kind of talking about it a little bit. This is awesome.
All right, now the hard part starts, and that's our journey back down the mountain, which is extremely steep. We're just bushwhacking, really. There's no trail. And uh, we're gonna take our time, we're gonna be safe. Watch out for snakes. Here's the rope. It uh, appears to be pretty solid. July 20, or sorry, July 2nd, 2022. We've decided not to use it. Um, but if you do use it, give it a good tug. Make sure it's solid. Make sure that tree looks like it's solid too. Be careful out here. Feels pretty good. We made it out. Now we got a two mile walk, two mile walk back to the car. But we are out of the mountains. Ooh, that was a fun one. We're gonna go get a hotel, some food, hot showers, and some sleep. Thanks for watching everybody.